Okay, wow, what a beautiful new trading terminal. This is Maven's new match trade terminal. If you select match trade, this is the new terminal that you will see. It's much more clean to read than the previous. You can see, you know, a little bit bigger text, you know, a little bit bigger bubbles, the stop loss and take profit and all of this um, execution and pricing a little bit easier to navigate around. Now, if you do prefer the old version, there is an old version that you can switch back to. Uh, but this is a much more simple platform to use for a beginner trader. And this is what I would recommend a beginner trader use when starting trading because you're simply in the browser. All you have to do is go to manager.maven.markets and then you're going to log in and you should be able to see all of your accounts right here, the funded accounts. Great. Phase two, you should scroll down. I have a ton because I've been doing this for ages. Uh, but you can switch through and see the accounts and see what stage you're at and see the balances and all that jazz. Now, when you're looking and navigating this, you can see, okay, we have the EU pair currently set up here and you can switch on the side as usual to the different pairs. Now, we've already taken a long on EU and, you know, a couple of dollars in loss here. But if you select that, you can close it. You could close multiple trades as well. So let's say we wanted to buy GU as well. You can close all of them at once if you wanted to select that symbol. You can also do the exact same thing if you wanted to set up a pending order. You got pending orders down here and you have your history down here as well. As you go through and you set up maybe an advanced order, we want to do a pending order. Let's do an advanced order so we're not just buying and selling immediately. Okay, now you have some more details of maybe what I want to do. Okay, you can scale your margin and your risk here of how much you want to bet, right? or you can just increase the lot size there. And you can see the US dollar equivalent value just below, but these are lots that you're gonna be looking at here. So let's place, you know, just a mini one here and do a pending order. Now we're gonna be able to drag that on the screen here, which is nice and beautiful. Um, so if we drag it above, it'll be a sell limit and drag it below, you can see a buy limit. You can see it switches on the left side there as I pass the current price back and forth. Now if we're gonna add a stop loss to that, well, boom, you've got stop loss added here so if we want to go below the current price we know stop loss you know and we can add a take profit for example and then when we set this up and we set a buy limit you know maybe we wanted to buy and we can just zoom in i'm just using the mouse scroll wheel here you can also do it on the side there you can do this on the side as well right to adjust but you know the mouse scroll wheel works pretty well for me so i want to buy those lows potentially and you know you can switch to sell or buy but we do want to buy of course now we're ready to go and it's maybe Maybe I want to increase the risk a little bit. Okay, perfect. And that's what I want to risk. And you can see potentially what you would lose on the side here. It'll say $1 loss or a $6 win. And that is going to give you a really good indication of how you can manage your risk when you're trading on the Maven platform, because maybe you don't want to lose more than 2% in a trade. Well, you're going to see exactly what you're going to lose in that case, or exactly what you're going to win. Maybe you only need another $10 to win the challenge. So we're gonna up that a little bit. So we have, okay, boom, now we got $10 and that's where I wanna place that. Okay, so now that order is pending in that order list. Okay, you can close them as you wish, or you can just close it with one button on the side here as well. And you can edit everything that you needed uh, while it's pending. So I'm gonna cancel that and not edit it. Now we'll go back to the open positions and we can go ahead and say, hey, I decided I wanna close this trade here on EU and I'm just gonna click on GU, boom immediately back to GU. Really nice stuff there. And we can go pending orders as well. You can see, right? Now, if you do want, you ha already have this order running, you can see, hey, I wanna set the take profit up here and I can just drag the stop loss right there. Super easy. You can see position updated on the top there. If you scroll over to your profit at the top, that's really easy to see your overall profit. Let's say we have multiple pairs running. You can see the the total profit and loss from all the things there right so if you do want to add in hey what's my balance what's my equity what's my free funds well maybe maybe i like to keep it simple i just want to know my balance my equity okay um and then the profit so you can add those new features in there going down to explore you can see okay possible news events coming up soon you can see click through the calendar any news dates i want to see you can see okay it's a red folder news event and these are the most popular pairs these are the sentiments so maybe you want to say hey i would love to go against the sentiment because that's what does me well so maybe silver 
everyone's long on silver, you know, maybe the sentiment, you might be able to make decisions based off of that. Top movers, ETH has been really booming lately. So you might want to jump in on some potentially good, profitable pairs, top gainers, highest percentage, and the top losers, of course, you can jump around different popularities in crypto. Let's say I want to see crypto pairs, or I'd love to see commodities. Of course, gold is going to be the most popular one there. Jumping over to gold, let's look up another advanced order. And you can change, you know, even in the orders here, if you want to lose or gain a certain percentage. Now I did go before and I said just the price. I'd like to see the price. Well, you can change this too. And you can say, hey, I want to see the points. I want to see what percentage I'm going to lose. So maybe you're not very good at math like me. And, uh, you know, you want to set another order here and you'll, you only want to risk. Let's close out everything here. I'm going to close out that trade too. So if we're on a sell, of course, we're going to lose a certain percent. So we want to increase that. Now you can see if I go here and I just bring it back to zero, you can see if I do that, you can see, boom, automatically adjust the stop loss. Now, because the position size is so small, I'm going to increase the position size a bit and then adjust that. It's not going to move in as big in increments. OK, so let's say I'm going to put five lots, for example, and I only want to lose negative one percent. OK, and that's 18 negative one. OK, and that's where that stop loss is going to be now. Uh, it's, it seems like it's very far away, but we are on the one minute chart. Now I want to check out, hey, what does that look like? Because I'm a little bit a longer term trader, maybe. That's where that's going to look like. We're going to market enter and we're going to drag the take profit this time. And I'm going to see that adjust on the side here of what that looks like. And I'm going to say, hey, I want to shoot for a good trade. We're going to call this a good trade. I want two, two times as much risk. I want to get 2%. I only want to lose 1% of the maximum, right? Maybe we'll cut that down a little bit. So we're less than 1% and boom, that's going to really manage your risk and make sure you don't blow the daily drawdown or the maximum drawdown on your Maven trading account. And then we can place that sell and it should just instantly enter, right? I clicked it twice. So we're going to go twice, I guess. And uh, you know, we can close out of there. If you enjoy using these charts, of course, you can change the different types A line chart. Personally, I think that it looks ridiculous, but some people may prefer it. You can increase the size so you can see more of the screen and there may be, you know, different settings. You can get rid of this grid and you can get rid of the open positions if you so choose to hide your positions for whatever reason. If you want, you can do multiple charts as well. This is going to allow you to EU on this side and GU on this side. What you do is you click on each side in order to change which pair you're looking at. Now, let's say I wanted EU on both sides and I wanted this one to be one minute and I wanted this one to be the five minute. Well, that works as well, too. You just click on whatever one you want and then switch it. You can have up to, you know, 16 or eight or whatever it is here. Different pairs here. I think this one's just, no, it's four. So you can have up to four different charts on this, which would be really, really useful if you wanted to see multiple time frames. But again, you might want to make that screen bigger, a little easier to see. Now, when you're in this mode, you can see the buy and sell pops up on the top there and you got your advanced orders that do pop up. And now let's bring this back to just one chart, easier to see and nice and big. So maybe I want to draw, I'll put an EMA on there. Boom, EMA, we can change the range. We can do whatever indicators we want there. I'm not going to go through the indicators. You can learn those on your own time. If you want to draw trend lines as well, there's different tools you can use to draw. I'll draw that however you like. And if you prefer trading view, well, you've got the entire trading view model here as well and everything that you're familiar with with trading view. Hopefully that helps, guys. Thanks for choosing Maven.